Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review, another addition to the Gaming Greats line. It is the Knight Brother Archer from Jedi Fallen Order. Pretty much a uh, expected release, I never doubted that they would uh, take on some more of the Dathomirian Knight Brothers, I think it was a no-brainer, given that they've got the uh, Darth Maul sculpt uh, from that comic pack. And they did use it really well with the uh, Knight Brother Warrior from uh, earlier this year, late last year. I can't remember. It's, it feels like it's been out for a little bit now. But um, yeah, this one, ever so slight differences in paint detail. Obviously a different weapon. Um, cool artwork on the side, which looks nice. I'm sure we will see this again. A different version of a Knight Brother Archer. Cool to see some more. Um, yeah, I don't mind them. I think they're cool. Just some different weapons. Uh, yeah, the one thing that I don't like is paying $55 for them, um, which is just the price for, you know, extra 10 bucks for that sticker, and I've spoken about that before. But, you know, I, I had to pick it up. It's just, you know, I've got to be picky with the gaming great stuff from now on, I think. Um, just sort of getting priced out of that a little bit. But nevertheless, it's packaging number 10 in the gaming greats line. They're capable of launching energy bow attacks with deadly accuracy. This member of a male warrior society will fight to the death against the quest to rebuild the Jedi Order in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, um, yeah, really, really cool. Let's crack him open and have a look. All right, here he is in all his Dathomirian glory. Looking quite cool. You know, paint apps very similar to the first one. Uh, plastic tone, skin tone <laughs> uh, that this figure's been molded in is more of a... You know, a fleshy red almost. Sort of a mix between a red and like a and a flesh. Pinky in tone. Um, it's hard to describe what that colour is. But yeah, so it's more of a red. Whereas the previous iteration was, you know, very vibrant yellow. Um, still sporting the same articulation all over. It's a very nice paint out sort of giving that sort of skin tone a little bit of depth um, not much detail on the back but yeah still sporting those old Darth Maul legs and yeah sort of tattered robes and tattered sort of thing <laughs> and the belt uh, yeah all the same as the last night brother but yeah this time he comes with this with this bow um, you know, it's it's just a sort of solid plastic, um, you know, in look and feel you know, a little bit lighter there, so you can sort of maybe pivot that out a little bit if you can get him to pose all right. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one. It's, I, I quite like it. I'm keen to see how this guy holds it and poses up and everything. So we'll do exactly that and uh, have a look and see how we go. So I guess that's a nice sort of tight fit. And I don't know about you, but these guys really annoyed me in the game. <laughs> you felt like you'd finally wiped out the area of uh, Knight Brothers. And then there was always one of these pesky buggers sort of sitting up on a ledge that you've missed. And, you know, you're just constantly firing arrows at you. Um, so, yeah, just be very careful. I don't want to break it, but... Yeah, that's probably about all you're going to get. So that looks all right. It's not too bad. And if you're feeling creative, you could easily just replace that with a bit of red string or something. I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But, um, you know, he's more or less just going to sort of stand on the shelf with it ready to go like that. But yeah, oh boy, those spikes are still razor sharp on top there. Don't want to give that to a small child. This, they're pretty spiky. They're not not a lot of not a lot of bend in them. So yeah, keep that away from from the kids. <laughs> Poke an eye out or something. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, but you know, just to be safe. But I like it. I like adding more characters from that from that game. Um, personally, I want to see some main characters as opposed to just you know different versions of the same thing you know that's what gaming great seems to be for that's what it's you know 
aimed at is just reusing other figures and you know I, I want to see some new new characters I want to see like Seer and and uh, you know another version of Trilla with uh, or the second sister and maybe even the ninth sister I reckon that'd be an epic figure um, and the crew crew of the, uh, the Mantis I think that would be fantastic I'd love to see some more expense sort of invested in the gaming greats and some new sculpts and you know just a little bit of creativity not that I don't like this but uh yeah sort of a little bit over the repaint sometimes it does look good on the shelf but yeah it's just feels feels like the same thing over and over again at some point so yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please sound out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. This is, uh, this, I, I, li I like this figure. I look forward to um, eventually digging out my collection again and being able to display this one with the uh, with the other warrior. Maybe getting some cool shots with Cal. You know, taking these guys on. Doing a little bit of that toy photography. yeah cool stuff all right folks thank you very much for watching i do appreciate your time big time <laughs> stay tuned for more videos to come and until then may the force be with you always